What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Poor Man Mods. Today I'm going to be installing larger injectors in the 1JZ. Now this is kind of a poor man mod, I guess you could say. I'm putting in 500... Oh, that music outside is terrible! There's a stupid... There's a festival going outside in the parking lot, so I apologize if you hear terrible music. But the stock injectors in this engine are 380 cc's, and I believe they're high impedance. Um, I get them mixed up. I know like the 1JZs are a higher low impedance and then the 550s out of the 2J are the opposite so you need to wire in a resistor pack and the only really common drop in injector for this are the 440s out of the JDM 2JZ because they're the same impedance. But I found these these are side feed 540 cc injectors that will directly fit in here without modifying the fuel rail. I was lied to. <laughs> the injectors aren't plug and play. <laughs> and they're the same impedance. Whether it's high or low, I don't remember, but they're the same. So I won't need to wire in a resistor pack and they're only 10 cc smaller than the 2JZ ones. So they're significantly larger. And if you're wondering, I got these out of a 3S G, is it a 3S G T E or just a 3S G or? 3S G T E. Okay, I got these out of a 3S G T E, which is a third gen MR2. And they plug right in. The only thing about these is when you're shopping for them, you probably only can find them in sets of four. So I had to buy two sets of four, so I have eight injectors and I have two left over. And if anyone wants to do this swap after seeing this video, I will have two injectors for sale. I'll probably sell both of them for like 30 bucks. Um, so hit me up if you want them. And we're going to begin the install. It looks kind of simple. Uh, some people say you can just take off the throttle body and the throttle cable and the auto control motor. I'm hoping that's all we have to do and not actually remove the intake manifold. And if that comes down to it, I'm not going to show me removing the intake manifold because I already did it in a video, in the Sicky Gasket video. So if you want to see how to remove the intake manifold, you can watch that video. But for now, we're going to start by taking off the intercooler piping, the throttle body, and go from there. And hopefully we can get these bad boys in. And then we're going to have to tune it with the Neo, and then we should make lots of power. Like, comment. This is the clip I broke. Oh, nice. I didn't need to touch it. See? Look at that. I just I went, you know, it went, Like, comment, and subscribe if you think Freddy should have gotten a fourth gen Supra. Everyone thinks I should have got a fourth gen Supra. I think I should have. But I don't have the money. And it looks like I can get you the injectors. At least the front three. No. I think we'll have to take the motor out. And the trunk. All right, I'm gonna take the injector clips off and hope they don't break on me too. That one didn't. That one didn't. This one did earlier when I did the intake manifold gasket. Wow. Amazing. Now I have to take off this retainer bracket and it looks like an eight or a 10 millimeter wrench. I forgot to mention you're supposed to take out your fuel pump fuse or your fuel injection relay and crank the motor to relieve all the fuel pressure in this. All right, this is the retainer bracket for the front three injectors. Now, so we don't lose them, we're gonna take off these O-rings that are on the top of the injectors. And now it's time to remove them. And there's still fuel in there. Oh, 
Boom. Come on. Why? With what? From what? Make sure your earrings don't fall off. Ow. Ow. Okay, now, now that they're in, I don't think they're all the way snug, but when we put the bracket on, it should make them snug. And now we got to work on the back three, which look very difficult. Of course we would do them last. Got the bracket, but I think I lost the boat. Ah, got it. I broke the injector. Old one. Nothing is playing nice back here. Yep. Get out of here. Holy balls. Got it. Yeah, bitch. Make sure you get the O-rings off the old injectors when you take them out because they might rip and be laying in the fuel rail. So don't forget them. Check your injector to see if they have them because this was laying in there and now I have to double check all the ones I put back in to make sure I got them all. Lied to <laughs> the injectors aren't plug and play, <laughs> they do need to be modified. And the person lied to me, but that's okay. We figured out how to make it work. It's pretty simple. It sucks that we got the injectors in and later found out this problem, but we fixed it, so it's no big deal. We got the injectors in now, and I'm going to show you what the difference in the injectors were and how we fixed it. So this is the 1JZ injector and as you can see the tabs on the side are closer to the top and there's a tab up here on both of them which are in the same exact position which is the important one for securing the clip but on the 3SGTE injector these clips are lower so when you try to put the clip on the slots are up here but the tabs are down there so it doesn't clip on. So what we did, we just took a Dremel and grinded these tabs off and a lot of people might be afraid of doing this but the, the clip clips right on. We still kept the top clip on which holds it on. These just kind of align it and it works perfectly. Doesn't come off. Click right in. All right, 
We finally finished putting the 3S GTE 540cc injectors in this 1JZ. Um, my source that originally told me this swap said it was plug and play, which it is if you modify the injectors. Um, wasn't that big of a deal, just took a Dremel, grind down the tabs on all six injectors, wasn't that difficult. Um, I still will have two injectors for sale if anyone wants to do this swap and they'll have the tabs grinded off of them already. Um, I'll be selling them for $30 for the two of them, so let me know if you want them. And now, when I go to start this car, these injectors I believe are 42% larger than the factory injectors, so it should be running pig rich and running like crap, which is why in our next drift missile series, we will be showing you how to tune this with the Apexi Neo, and hopefully we can up the boost and make like gobs of power and make this thing so much more fun. But for now, I'm just going to end this episode here. I hope you learned how to put injectors in. Um, I hope you learned about this swap because it's probably a lot easier and it might be cheaper than doing the 2J550cc injectors because there's no wiring with this one. With the 2JZ550s you need to wire in a resistor pack, which I hate wiring, so I'd rather just cut those tabs off the injectors for the 3S GTE ones. So, there you go guys, it's definitely, this is definitely a poor man mod because we didn't have to buy like $800 like super expensive injectors. We got both of those sets for around $300 which is pretty awesome. And hopefully when I go to start this thing it doesn't make a fire. So I'll see you guys next time.